Good morning. This is Linda K. And this is Saturday, May the 11th, 2019. And I'm trying this again for the second time because I uploaded the wrong video. So, hopefully, this will work this time. Um, I had bronchitis in March. But put on G pack, did not get completely over it. Got bronchitis in full force last month, and I was in really bad shape. And I put on Z pack three different <coughs> <coughs> on three different rounds. So as of the beginning of this month, I finally started to feel more like myself. So, hopefully, the bronchitis won't be coming back. Uh, Buttercup, my kitty, had surgery yesterday morning. And he got fixed. And I was babying him all day yesterday from 1 o'clock on. And he slept all night long last night on his in his favorite spot in front of the bed. <clears throat> in front of his, in front of the bedroom window, laying on his favorite throne, and so this morning when I got up, I gave him a pain pill, and he acting like nothing ever happened yesterday, and it was so funny yesterday. Somehow he got a hold of my library receipt that I had. And he took off running with it, and he went into the dining room and put it on the floor. And that was after he came home from having surgery. Go figure. You cannot keep this child down, and he's only a year old. He's going to be two on July the 7th. He's going to be in his terrible twos. Um, but yeah, he's doing really good, and right now he's in his in the window so here in my office looking at the birdies and talking to them. Um the book I want to talk to you about the book that I'm reading. The book that I'm reading is called Neon Quay and it's John Stanford, the author, and this is book number twenty nine in his Lucas Davenport series. And this is so so good. And it keeps you on your toes from the beginning of this book to the very end of the book. So here's what the book looks like. And I got this from my library. I love the cover of this. It is so cool. So I am almost at my halfway point on this. And I am loving this book. It is so good. And I got book number one on hold. What's it called? Um, rule, R U L E S, Rules of Prey. I got it on hold through, at, through my library, through the Evergreen Library System. And then I got book number two, what's it called? Shadows of Prey on hold through my library, through the Evergreen Library System. So I'll be getting those two books probably on Tuesday because the Evergreen Holds comes in every Tuesday, like between 12 and 2. So I'll be picking those up Tuesday afternoon. But yeah, I, I love his book and I've been wanting to read his series for a long time. And so I'm finally going to get serious about this and start reading all of the books that are in this series. And here's a picture of him. He is a very good author and I love him. So that's the library book that I'm reading. And then I bought something from Amazon that I want to show you. I have muscle spasms really bad and I get them real e easily at a drop of a hat. And the only place that I get them is in my left shoulder blade area. 
and I thought of PT uh, last week that my orthopedic doctor suggested in me doing physical therapy. So on the other end of his office building is the PT place. So it's real easy to find and, and to get to as well. So my therapist massaged my left shoulder blade area and it felt so good. I didn't want her to quit. And she also told me about a roller stick that you can buy from Amazon. And they got all kinds of roller stick. They got one for knee. They got one for back. They got one for leg. They got one for, you know, for feet. Just about anything you want it for, they, they got them. And it comes in all different sizes and shapes. And some of them have like a tennis tennis ball in the middle of them with the two handles on the end and they're short they're only about that long and so you know there's a tennis ball like in the center of the roller stick so here's what mine looks like and these things turn as you can see and my mouse is in the way so you can see that they turn. And they, it does wonders, I tell you. It gets my muscles untightened. And you can see my cat is doing cis pine, little stinker butt. So that's what it looks like. And you can, you know, hold it and then go back and forth like this. And, I, and hold it down at the bottom and then just roll it like this. Oh, that feels so good. So I'm the demonstrator of the roller stick. <laughs> but yeah, it does wonders, I tell you. It feels so good when you, when you use one of these like on your back or, or you can even use it on your arms or legs, feet, whatever. And the, the coffee can't, they cost be, between, I can't talk, between. 10 and 15 dollars so it depends on the size depends on uh, what kind you get so next month i'm going to be ordering the, the one that had the tennis ball in the center of it so i can use it on my back and then that way i can use this and not have to go to pt because every session that i go after even with my insurance, it costs forty dollars per session, and that is a lot of money to be paying for PT out of your own pocket. So this will help me tremendously, and I am so glad that you told me about it because I didn't know Amazon had these, but believe me, they got all kinds. Of, you know, and the price is very between 10 and 20 dollars and if you want to untighten your muscles and stuff this is a very fantastic super tool to use and this is only for backs so if you have like you know a tight back you can use it to loosen up your muscles and stuff so i would highly recommend using one of these it, it, even if you want to just massage your back, you can use this to massage your back with it as well. So, and, you know, this also could, you know, do that too. <laughs> okay. So, I got that from Amazon. And that comes in a world. Believe me, it worked wonderful because I tried it yesterday. And I didn't have no trouble sleeping last night either. So, okay, on to my whips. Okay, the first one is Daisy Offerings. This is a heaven and earth design, and there's so many mowing. <coughs> this is a heaven and earth design, and the artist is Sandra Cup, K U T K. And she's not, 
she's not designing anymore. But here's where I'm at on Daisy R. Frank's. And the very top portion of, of that, you know, like this section right here, all the way down, that is all heavy confetti stitching. All of it. And I still got more to do. Ah! So. Here's what she looked like. And I love her face. Her face is so sweet. I could just hug her to death. I'm doing this on 18 count Ada. And I have, as you can see, I have part of her wing started already. I just love this. I started this in 2011, and I started three different times because I just I I just had a hard time trying to get it started. And the bad thing is, I'll show you. Bad thing is that you cannot just start this anywhere. You have to start with this section right here. No, wrong. Scratch that. Um, actually, I started. Wait a minute. Where am I at here? I started right here. Right, right there. So I started out with heavy confetti stitching. That's where I started from. Cause you had to start in this corner and and then work your way up and then over and then down on on the other side. So, and hopefully, I got enough material on this end to go over. So, I won't know that until I get to that point. But if not, I can get more fabric and just sew it on there. But yeah, it's it's been a challenge, I tell you. Cause this is my first heaven and earth design that I ever ever started in my entire life. And I should have picked the simpler one to start like in the corner. But no, not me. And then I'll show you what she looks like. Here is what she looks like. Seems I get my finger out of the way. Kind of blurry. Ah! Gosh darn it, it's not coming out like I want it to. But you get the general idea. You're throwing Daisy down on the earth. <coughs> Not just me. So that's, <coughs> and I try to work on her every day, but I always don't get to. And then the next one, i called uh, Lost No More, and a lady stitcher that I know, 
she didn't want to fin <coughs> she didn't want uh to finish this so she asked me if I would be willing to finish it and and then I get to keep it and I said yes because you know you can't hardly say no so and it's a dimensions And that's what that looked like. And I'm using the kit threads, which if I were to try this myself, then I would have used all DMT threads because um, here's what it looks like that I got done. <coughs> and this, what is it? This right here is part of it of Jesus' death. And I ran out of the light purple. <coughs> I ran out of the light purple. So a uh, sister friend uh, found out that I ran out of the purple thread, light purple thread. So she. <coughs> So she sent me all of her extra threads that she had left over from when she was doing this. And so now I got the light purple thread that I need to finish this up with. And plus I got her other threads too in case I need them. But. So I'm working my way across here. And I'm doing one. 10 by 10 square start to finish because in this pattern there are you use two threads for half stitches you also use uh three threads for half stitches and then there is regular cross stitch that you use two threads for so it is going real slow but I work. I try to work on it every day. Cause I, and this material, oh my gosh, it is so soft, and it's Ada. But I do not know the brand name of the fabric. But I tell you, it is so soft and easy to to work with. I love the fabric, and I wish I could find more of this fabric. But I love the fabric. So that's what I'm at on that one. So that's whip number two. Basically, these are the four that I'm working on. And then whip number three. And it's another heaven and earth design. And it's called QS Library Fairy 5. And it's by Randall Spangler. Yeah, I'm not for working on two heaven and earth designs at the same time. But this is where I'm at on this one. And I'm doing it on 28 count, one over one. And I'm working my way down to those uh, end threads. There's a proper name of them I can't think of what it's called, but... That's where I'm at. And her wings are very, very heavy confetti. So that's where I'm at on that one. That's whip number three, and they're all in the individual vinyl plastic storage thingies. And I and um uh, I don't have it with me right now, but I got on Amazon and they have the huge huge ones, like for I don't know ten dollars maybe at that and they're like 
15 by 19 or something like that. And they are really huge. So I ordered me one and I got it. And I'm telling you, they're, they're just like these. Only they're much, much bigger. So from now on, I'm going to order my these bags from Amazon. And then my last whip that I have is uh, Mirabilia Silver, Silver Moon Tea. And here's what you look like. Oh, Kyle has another Mirabilia for you to work on. And I don't know if you got this or not, Kyle, but here's what it looks like. And it's called Silver Moon Tea by Nora Corbett. So there you go. And here's where I'm at on this. And I'm working, I'm right here. Right through there. And this is, um... The fabric is by hand hand dye fabric by Stephanie, and this is I S O L D E color. That's the name of the color of this fabric, and it's twenty eight count. So I, what I want to do is I want to order the beading thread and this. I can't think of the name of it right now, but you get it from Amazon and it comes on a great big roll, like a spool of thread. So I'm going to be ordering that pretty soon. So, graduate, you will be getting done. I got some beading done. Like in her hair, like right there, where that kind of a greenish is. And then I got some done down here as well. So once I get that beading thread, then I'm going to be doing more beading on her. So that's where she's at. So those are all of my whips that I have. I got four and that keeps me out of trouble. So, and of course I didn't get nothing done yesterday because I was babying Buttercup. And so hopefully today I can get some stretching done on one of my four or maybe two of my four. Um, I want to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank all of you for returning and watching my videos every time. And since I'm back on track now after being sick for two months and after getting fuck up taken care of. I'll be making a video every week, and this is vlog tube number 15, in case I didn't say that. Um, so yeah, I just appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos, for taking time out to watch my videos. And I love you all, and you all make my day whenever I watch your videos. You give me encouragement. But I'm really appreciate it. And thank you all so very much. And I love you all. And, t and before I forget, today's weather is chilly, rainy, and we got frost through the night last night. So, well, I think that will be all for now, and I will see you in my next video, which will be sometime next week, but I do not know what day yet. So, watch out for my next video next week.
see you all in my next video. And have a very wonderful, fantastic stitching week. Bye.